dozens of law enforcement vehicles, including some armored tanks that were lining the street not too long ago. They were all focusing in on a house a bit further up here on Meadow Road, which is actually not too far from the last known address of the suspect in this. And someone came on a loudspeaker at one point pleading for anyone who was inside to come out. At one point. Began a one -way dialogue. That person on the loudspeaker also named the suspect of the shooting, saying, quote, Robert Card, we know you're in there. There were at least two SWAT vehicles, three drones, a helicopter, and dozens of armed tactical teams surrounding this home for hours. At some points, they had a spotlight fixed on a top floor window. Main State Police say they were here to execute several search warrants and that the announcements being made are standard to ensure safety. Officials have not said if anything was actually found in inside the home here on Meadow Road. We're live in Bowdoin, Danae Bucci, WCVB News Center 5. Hey, today, and, and I know it's 10 o'clock at, at night, and you may not have the answer to this, but what actually sparked police to all of a sudden, when it got dark, to move in that aggressively and use the megaphones? Showed up today. Right. Well, I can tell you it was pitch black here. They had us turn off all of our lights because, as you can imagine, this is a very serious tactical effort that they were doing as they approached this house here. So it was a very serious situation. It was very tense and it was very eerie because it was so quiet. But we knew that there was a huge response going into that home there. Again, like I said, we don't know if they found anything there or what exactly they were looking for. But at some points they came on that loudspeaker naming Robert Card by name, telling him to come out of that house.